that period, even though it was a beautiful part of my learning in regards to youth work, it was the most stressed, the most burnt out, the most like loose I had been with my well-being I've ever been then. So I had no strategies. I didn't call on any of my support. I was just glad to have a job because before then, I I had gone to study um, urban planning. So two years I studied urban planning oh, um, at uni. And then because I got out of prison, so I did five and a half in prison. Um, for the f- for GBH, went into uni, did two years at the architecture school, and then I couldn't find any jobs because of my record. Oh, so you you went through the whole thing? Was it? You you went through the whole course and, and graduated. And yeah, so I got my masters in planning. Oh, wow! And planning, but those jobs were in consultancies, councils, or consultancies, consultancies and councils, and some iwi bodies, and none of them were hiring. Are you, yeah, you're well. You, there's a part in in hiring process where they say, do you have a criminal record or not? And if you say no, another open, open field opens and you move on. And if you say yes, a massive open field moves on, explain what it is. Put it in there, what happened, um, why I was sent to prison, or why I was charged, the whole story. So what happened actually, um, I had on my desktop, I had saved like the, the what I always write. So after the first two, yeah. I was like, shit, I better save it. And so I saved it. And so I think I applied for 30-something jobs at different consultancies from Whangarei to Invercargill mm. doing planning. And then, um, so I just would, yes, I got a criminal conviction, drag out from Word to the empty field and put it in and just tell the whole story. It was like maybe like 800 words because mm. I think most of them were 1,000 word limits in the open field, so 800 <laughs> and then I didn't get any jobs, any yeah. jobs. So I was pretty, because you know, like my idea was like, if I get out of prison, like I want to do this to do some positive things. Mm-hmm. And I thought if I got a, um, um, did some study, more study, because I'd done some study inside with Massey University, mm-hmm. get out, sweet, I'll get some postgrad stuff done, I'll get a job, all would be sweet. Because you're doing the hard yards? Yeah, hard yards. Then I didn't get no bite backs, not even a secondary, not even like a can come to the whatever the interviews mm. so I, I ended up being unemployed for three months after I graduated and I was at Wins so I went to Wins started getting payments um, while looking for jobs and then um, I ended up oh, I was taking, willing to take any job so a friend of mine in Wellington not even the council not even the council sure. like, I wouldn't even get like even I had some like mates inside there that were trying to link me in with the planning department but I would never get past that you know, you know how fuck that sounds? Because this is local government. Mm. You know, they run the... Pro- oh, government runs the prisons now. Mm. Was it private then? Because it was private. Yeah, it was private. Yeah. Money then was private then and Circo. It's not anymore, eh? Yeah, no. Nah. I was just Circo. Um, oh, Monaco. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Woody, sorry. Woody Prison. Yeah. That's the last... So, you know, they, you know it's it's, rehab, it's rehabilitation, mm. right? Mm. And then, so you can... When you, when you get rehabilitated... Mm. You get released and you go out into the workforce. Yeah. And then the council says no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting I wasn't even getting the no. <laughs> you know how you get like the um stock standard like um response emails? Oh, okay. Like um it's like, you know, just a <clears throat> what everyone gets, like, oh sorry, you haven't been successful. Mm. I didn't even I haven't never re- I never received the callback, I never received I'll come in and have an interview, so I didn't even got to the interview stage. So I just like I, one part of me wanted to lie. Yeah. But I just didn't want to go out like that. It's like, I didn't need to lie, I've done my time, I've, I've worked hard. Mm. <clears throat> this is this doesn't define me, this is just part of my story, blah, 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 blah. But I never ever got a break. And then, um, so what's the point of prison then, you know? What's the point? <laughs> I mean, I that's what prison's for, to rehabilitate mm. and go and go back into society. Yeah. And it's and a well, change prison, and then everyone says no, it's like, what mm, the fuck? Like, like how they just what's doors, the whole point? Doors closing, and then exactly, because when, you know, when you're unemployed, you start to think that. It's like, like fuck, this, this world doesn't like me. Because that's not a, uh, you know, isolated mm. story. That nah. the heaps, nah. there's heaps, eh? It keeps happening, it's even happening now. Like, even for minor jobs sometimes, eh, you just kind of get the back door mm. shut on you. Not to say that, like, they're minor jobs, but, like, with different type of jobs as well, they, they, it's still happening now. Like, it really comes down to who you know when it comes to, like, your record mm. and whether they they believe you, to be honest. But to try to get through in the normal, like, you don't know anyone, it's always hard. But, yeah, like you said, like, the prison is meant to be the punishment. Everything else after that, yeah, you know, that's not meant to be even a thing. 
But it is a thing. Yeah, you know, a lot of people... Like me, at that stage, I was kind of like, oh, fuck it, I'll just take it on the chin, whatever. Mm. And then, um, yeah, it got to a point where I was like, fuck, this is getting pretty 50-50 because my mum, you know, like, needs to support home a bit more. And and then it was just like a friend just called through out of nowhere. It's like, hey, there's a job going down in Wellington. And I was like, what the fuck in Wellington? Fuck. <laughs> I was like, I gotta go to Wellington. <laughs> and so that's how I ended up in Wellington. I what was that job? That was that um, Salvation Army job. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Sal- Salvation Army in um, mm. the Marai job. So, I got... Marai job was paying the bills, paying me, which I got sent back to mum. And then Salvation Army was paying my lodging. So, I didn't need to have any cost at home. So, I was all just earning at the Marai um, and just sending it home, really. And I um, did that for 14 months. And, um, yeah, yeah, it was a really massive experience. 